Hello guys, this is SteveMan76 from TrioCraft, and this happens to be our first ever video. Now, today, Cheeto353 and X7123X, so you probably know him as KYP, was not able to come today, but I'm still here. So, this is our first ever mod review also. So, today we will be reviewing the Bacteria mod. The link will be in the description. Same with my channel link. Alright, so let's get started. So, in this mod, it actually has a feature where you could use wool, five wool, three flowers, and a water bucket, and just put it in a crafting table, just like this, and voila, you have two sponge. Now, if you don't want to craft sponge because you don't have the materials to, you can always find it in oceans, rivers, lakes, etc., but they're pretty rare. So, let's just take this bucket back in the chest, and... Now, if we go ahead and take two bread, a water bucket, and one sponge, and we stick it inside of the workbench, like that, we get a piece of what's called must. Now, this must has a very unique feature. It's a bacteria, but it only goes into wa it only eats up water. So, if we stick it into a water tube like this, it also works in the ocean, and we go ahead and close this off. Eventually, we'll get something that looks a bit like that, where the must will start to grow. Now, it does take a decent amount of time, so you'll just have to wait it out. But once it grows, if you go back into the water and start breaking this must, eventually you'll get what's called a bacteria. But it's not exactly named that, it's really named a bacteria, bunch of bacteria, sorry. Now, with that bunch of bacteria, we can craft two different things. I'll start off on the main bacteria. So, if we take a redstone torch, four bunches of bacteria, and stick them in the workbench like so, we get a bacterium colony. And this bacterium colony has a pretty cool effect. If you place it down, then you go and you place a block on top of that it'll actually eat away all the blocks that are touching it of that so let's go ahead and first before we start doing that let's take three of those bacterium colonies a piece of iron ingot a redstone torch and four cobblestone and we throw them into the workbench in a square formation put the ingot in the middle the redstone on the bottom and put the bacterium colonies in the rest we get a bacterium jammer now what that does is if you have your bacteria colony and it's growing so big that you really need to stop it you just place one of those things down and they will stop it so on to using the bacteria so like i said we have dirt under it okay that that works then we place dirt on top of it. Take a redstone torch or something that can light it with redstone. Place it down. And watch the magic as the bacteria grows and grows and eats up all of the dirt around you. This is also a very effective mining way, but I doubt you're going to use it. It's mainly a fun thing, uh, in my opinion. So it's eating up. Now, let's say it gets to the point where it's getting very close to my house and there's no way in. It would be really smart to stop it, so we just take this bacterium jammer, place it down, and I believe it should just stop on its own. Yep, it jammed all of the bacteria on the world, one jam. So, now if we go back into our floating chest, take four bunches of bacteria and a piece of coal, stick them in like the bacterium colony, and we get a replacer colony. Now, before we go on, I'm just going to quickly get a, a jammer and one piece of glass. And let's go over to right here, should be a fine place. Now, see there's stone under it. So, if we place down this, and we place a piece of glass on top. And then we take one of our redstone torches and light that thing. Just watch as the magic starts. So, now all the blocks except all the stone blocks I believe will be turned into glass and you can see that happening right here it's leaving the coal behind 
the dirt behind, that gravel behind, it's doing absolutely nothing to them. Now this will start to lag your game after a while, so I'm just going to place down one of these jammers, walk near it, and boom, destroyed 6,314 blocks, which generated in just about, what was it, 10 seconds? So, that ends this first video and our reviewing, this was Steven Man 76 from TrioCraft and I'm out.